Oh, sorry, I may remember this one. Come here in December, and I was about to do full spring clean, and we found the heat exchanger leaking. And today we're back, replacing the heat exchanger. Also, I'm going to put a filter in here. Get that all done. I'm out of breath because I've just lugged all my stuff up. So, right, let's get the case off. I'll show you how to get this done. Welcome back everyone. This job might split opinions a little bit. So we've got an old Worcester boiler that needs a new heat exchanger. Well, some of my videos I've done a repair on a boiler where people have said you should just replace the boiler. And in other videos I've replaced the boiler and people say you should have saved it. So I want to know what you think. Would have you gone to these lengths on the boiler? Now me, myself personally, I always put the choice to the customer. But you're going to see me replace a main heat exchanger on a Worcester Junior boiler get a filter on there and get it back up to running order. So I want to say again, thank you very much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that button. It really helped me out. Any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them and get back to you. Yeah, let's take a look at this week's work. So yeah, if you if you watch my channel uh, since December, you'll know this one um, was the one where I couldn't do a full strip of clean and I noticed the heat exchanger was leaking. Then we give the customer quote for a new exchanger and to replace the boiler. So it's going to be one or the other. Now, because it started leaking, we're back. We're going to do the main exchanger and put a filter on, ready for a system clean. So we're going to do a system clean as well on this one because the water quality was not the best on this one. Case off, yeah, you can see where the exchanger has gone all the way around there. It's been, yeah, it's quite, it's actually wet now. All this bad's going to come. So it's been progressively getting worse. So to get this out, first thing we do is get the fan thrown out of the way. So I'm just going to. Take the clip off there. That should just, he says, easily come out because we had it in before. There we go. Disconnect the electrics. Again, should be nice and easy. Death lead. Put this out that way. And then 13mm not on top of there. Undo that. Then that clamp come off and that'll swing out of the way. So I've undone that nut. That's out of the way, and then that will twist. You can wiggle it out. It's a lot easier with two hands when you're not recording for YouTube. Just get it from the there we go. Come on. So you actually need the extra hand just to hold that clamp down. There we go. That's the fan assembly all out. Next up, let's get these electrons off now. Again, these should be nice and easy because we can fire them out one step. One, two, Three, that clamp out, and then the electrodes will come out, he says. There we go, let's get them out of the way. Disconnect all the electrics, I have, to, I have turned the power off, so don't worry. Get that out of the way, that just pulls out the top. That's all the electrics disconnected now. From the exchanger. Nice. Folding bucket out, got the arse fire just going on the drain off there. Because the boiler's the highest point in the system, we can open that in there. Pull that off actually, there we go. That will shred all the water and make sure that arse as well. The only bit so far has been getting itself off. Absolute nightmare. So there's a clip in there, pull that out to get it out. And what I've been doing is using a screwdriver behind that just to prise it out, as you can see. That's it now. That is out. Wow. That was all good to see. Okay, so that's out. Um, let's move on to the bottom. So this cap here. That needs to come out. Now the sump does come out with this as well. So we've got to get rid of the trap. That's going to come out. So let's twist. Pull. Come out. I'm going to get the washer replaced on that because it looks a little bit thin. So with the Worcester Kebab, what we should be able to do is lift it up and out that gap there. You see how it thickens up on that clamp? So as you lift it up, bring it up, then out this way. Disconnect through, bend that tap back. That should lift up enough for you to get this sump out. Disconnect the electrodes there. And that should be it ready to go. Why right, nothing else connected now? Now I have some people before take this out. You can really take, do not touch that. Do not loosen that. 
it will not come out. From you got now is the old ring on the bottom of here. Where this bolt goes in, it'll be seized on solid. So you can grab that, give it all you got. You've been struggling for the ages. The easiest way I've found to do it is get a flathead or crowbar underneath the sun and rock it up. Rock it up. What I'm going to do is see if I'm a or a big flathead. Just rock it up, rock it towards you, and you should be able to get it out. So yeah, we took that bracket off the back now. So you just want to just want to come up. So I'm going to do that. try and prise it up on the knee two hands there. But normally what I do is prise it with a flathead while wiggling it backwards and forwards. But don't be scared of it. You've got to give these some welly to get them out. So yeah, prising that up and down, wiggle it a wiggle, that should get it free. It's free now. So, as I said, just wiggle the screwdriver up and down, give him a wiggle, don't be scared of him, and he'll come out. Um, just got to get him out now, past here. Yeah, that's the exchanger, all out. There we go, one cup of the exchanger, all out. You can see, he has gone all on this seal. You know, I checked. They give me the work one, I'll probably do that. It should be new sun. Now, you know, if it's a new sun, but also buy the trap. It's one of them traps, new sun. It's the old trap, the square one that went on the side. It's the old sun. So, somewhere you should say new sun. Yeah, happy days. Right, let's get this one prepped. Get this one in. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. It's it comes bare, but you get the baffles, you get the RV stack, which is normally bent up or broken. Um, and all them break all the time. Yeah, they were packed, that'd be a. Uh, so you get main the exchanger. You also get a gasket and all your R rings. Don't think you get any screws. No, you don't get no screws, but for that there, I think that is the lot. Yeah. That's it, so we can put the old one in the box now. Start getting this new one here. So, new ring, R ring on there. Get plenty of lube on that. Um, let's get all these clips out of the way because I've just left them inside the main heat exchanger. I'll be looking for them. Cursing myself when I lose them. New R ring on here. Plenty of lube on there. I'm going to get plenty of lube around here and on there. Then we're going to put him back in here. The clamp at the back here that fits in here. I'm going to leave that for now. We can put that on afterwards. Uh, it does come with the new uh, plastic bit for here. Happy days. Um, so yeah, let's get some lube on them seals and get this one back in. So what I'm gonna do, as we lift it in, I'm gonna aim for this pipe here, and try and feed it through there, while avoiding that at the same time. Um, and there's no way really I can set my camera because I'm in this little area cupboard. I might try and set it up there, give you an angle of what it looks like putting it in. All right, best angle I can get was there. Here we go, exchanger incoming. Yeah, that's probably the worst angle ever. What was I thinking? Anyway, new exchange in. See, I'll give him a wiggle then. It will set in properly, but give him a wiggle. You see, it's set down now onto that pipe. Can go back in. There we go, that's that back in. That can go on there. That's back in. Uh, get the clip in there. Technically, you could actually fill that up now. Once you've got that clip in, see, you can fill it up, test it, make sure you've got no leaks. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get there that clamp put back on so that's clamp back down so the white plastic bit in this bit get that replaced throw that away yeah that just goes to the clip there wait it's nowhere that goes in there down onto there with two screws obviously the white plastic bit in between right, so now we get the burner back in so it does come with the baffles but not the burner so you've got to put the old burner back in and we've got the electrodes we new last time, so we have replaced the seal because it does, does to do send a new red seal, so we just replaced that. Even though it's only about four months old, but new seal on there and uh, plate next. So plate, get him in. There we go, and then we can put the electrodes back on. Always forget to put these on, always do it after, and not over my hand because I've got the fan back in, but I've remembered this time. Uh, so get these electrodes back on so electrode connections back in place rectification back in place i'll put these two orange wires back on high limit stat and i'll put them on the flu temp stat and also i've got that border stat back in there 
So yeah, get the fan back in there. And it's look, basically now it's like a full strip down service in reverse. That's all you gotta do now is put the fan back in. Um, so yeah, it ain't too bad a job, eh? It ain't too bad a job. I think that's took us about 45 minutes to swap that over. So it ain't too bad a job once you get used to it. Uh, so yeah, let's get the fan lined up, get that back in place. Fan, we just got him in the lugs, so and what you wanna do is just angle it upwards. So a little angle up, then shoot. That will engage the back, it will make it down to, he says, twist that on. I'm only going to be able to do it one handed. It's hard enough to hands, but there we go. I'm going to do it. So, dang it up, it should lock into place. Then you can push that round. But I'm going to track this white wire. There. there we go. Just make sure you don't track that white wire. Just push him round. I'll go push him down here just to avoid the flow elbow. That's it. That's him back. Press pipe. We can get him back in. It's a bit tight, so I'm just put a bit of lube on that. Put the fan electrics back on. That's one. That's two. And then we can get that 13mm nut back on there. Clamp that burner clamp down. Burn clamp's all back on. That nut's all tight. Put a bit of lube on that and it went straight in. Happy days. And then the clip. I'm just going to feed it through one side. Give it a pinch. Feed it through the other. Give that a pull. And there we go. Add that back in. And we've got to get the uh, fan protective cover on here. Um, that's if the inner fluid leaks, so all these leaks, it'll just dive out the water, stop it blowing your fan. Get that nut back on there. Uh, I see. Oh, the trap, I'll go do the seal on the trap as well. Before I forget that, I'm just going to tighten that back on. Nearly forgot to put that back on. Yeah, don't forget that. Put back on. There ain't nothing that comes out of that. But you could, if the boiler is full of water, it does enough. We normally do as well, the exchange in place. So. There we go. Tighten that back on and let's go get a seal for the condensate trap. New seal in the trap. Let's get him back in. Yeah, you would siphon absolutely all out of the PCB. Thank you very much for that. He's back on. I see. That's it all back. Back up running. Uh, better draw that board off. But yeah, that is the exchanger all done. Next up, we're going to fit AD Magna Cleans. AD Magna Cleans, get some cleaner in. Then we're going to do return visit to clean all the system out. Uh, so yeah, let's get the screw in that. Right. Got three towels there. So I'm not going to drain the system. We are going to snatch it. We are. And I've got our big boy pants on and snatch it. So what I'm thinking is, put the pipe quick as I can. Bang that on, turn it off first, bang that on, then I can make alterations to the part work because there will be no water coming out of it then. Let's see if we get on. Come on, cut it. Oi, no water coming out of that awful. That should be off. Okay. That's it, so it locked anyway. Uh, so plenty of towels down there anyway, so yeah, let's get that on and then, um, yeah, we'll sort the rest of the pipe work out. There we go, just got the mag clean in there. <coughs> there's one towel, I was panicking when there's water coming out both ends of the pipe, but we have plenty of towels down there. I knew it wouldn't be too, I knew the back of my head wouldn't be too much, but and so I was panicking so. Uh, just the street elbow, the long gate is one that come with the mag clean in there, normal street there. So it's nice and straight. Um, get some cleaner in there, and they'll fill the system back up. And uh, just wait for that to cool down. Good idea, so we're five minutes and uh, have a drink. That's all cooled down. Get some water back in the water. Oh, well done. Have a glass of drain off. Let me double check. There we go. Cleaner in. Let's get this filled up and tested. Right. Drain off is closed. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, just fill up and that'll be me done. Well, the pressure's held. Oh, worried about that though. I was worried that 
put it below on the board. Let's get this fuse back in, see if this was banged. Looks like I've got a load of water over here. No good bang. Behave. Bang run. No? Come on. Now the eco's on. Uh, let's turn the eco off. Let's get it tested. Hold on. Just want to see if it fires up. There we go. Rectified, yes, rectified, all on. All the way events have a good splutter. There we go. Get our 26.9 checks on. Test that max. Yes, my online survey has actually got charged once. So you know me, that's always beeping, actually charged it. So still the max, still the min. And uh, make sure everything's working safely. There we go. One new exchanger, all done. All safe checks done. Boiler back up temperature. Filtering, cleaner in. So we am going to come back and do a mag and clean on this. So yeah, I do like saving boilers. When the customer chooses to save a boiler, um, I'm all up for it. I really am. So new exchanger in that. He's a new lease of life. If you want to see me clean out the system, let me know in the comments. I can record doing the clean out, see what muck we get out of the system. Because that cleaner's going to stay in there for a couple of weeks. Then we're going to come back and clean it. So yeah, that's giving that boiler a new lease of life. But would you have done that heat exchanger? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Catch you on the next one.